will of God, but once the devil find out that you know what the will of God is, he then attacks you because he don't want you, oh man, to, to start meditating on the will of God and then you start believing that you can do all things. So he start attacking you because he don't want you to embrace the will of God that's inside of you. So he start chipping at your vessel. He start, he start attacking your flesh. And the affliction of the gospel is a part of the will of the gospel. So the devil is going to attack everyone who has God entrusted his will in. So anybody that has the will of God seated inside of them, the enemy is going to attack you. Well, this ought to be a sign of relief to you. Somebody ought to just exhale right there. Because now you know why you are being attacked the way you are being attacked. It's because the will of God is in your life. Now the level of attack has to do with the knowledge of his will. I said the level, the level, the level of the attack that you're being attacked by has to do with the knowledge of the will. So how oh God is based on your knowledge of the will of God. So if you have a lot of knowledge of his will, the attack on your life is a lot greater than the attack on somebody who only know three scriptures. But if you are a student of the Bible and you study to show yourself approved, then, then your attack is a lot greater than the attack of people who only come to church on Sundays and Wednesday and that's the only time they open up their Bible. Oh my God. But, but he attacked you according to your knowledge. That's why I, I'm going to see if I can prove it. Too much is given. Thank you Lord. Too much is given. Much is required. The greater the gift, the greater the attack. Your position determines your attack. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, your position, your position. determines your attack. And your blessing. That's why the enemy is always trying to get you out of position. Because he don't want you blessed by God. He's always trying to push you outside of your assignment. Because he knows that if you're not in position. Then you cannot get the manifested blessing. That God has ordained to be on your life. Before you was in your mother's womb. Oh God they missed that too. But I heard. I heard. I heard the Bible said that. That he is able to keep you from falling. Look at your neighbor and says, neighbor, I don't care what you're going through. Don't care what you're Come on, say it like you got some meaning and conviction. Say, neighbor, I don't care what you're going through. But I, I don't care how hard it is right now. I don't, I, I don't care what you don't have right now. I don't care if you've been laid off. I don't care what you're suffering with. You need to know that God is still able to keep you from falling. So the Bible says that this moment took the baby and brought Elijah back to the house and Elijah laid on the baby and blew in the baby's mouth. <laughs> oh Lord. And when she blew, when Elijah blew on the baby, the baby got the breath that was inside of Elijah. Now it really wasn't Elijah's breath, but it really was the breath of the wheel that was inside of Elijah. And Elijah was blowing the wheel of God back into the body of the dead child. That's all I came to tell you this morning is that whatever is dead in your life that's supposed to be alive, stop crying and start breathing the will of God back in it. Stop your neighbor right there and say, neighbor, I'm not ashamed. I'm in verse 12. I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm not going to let shame come Cause me not to operate in the will of God. I'm not ashamed for I know that this is the gospel and oh God. And because I know the gospel, I know the power of the gospel. And the power of the gospel is that whatever I say is got to come to pass. Shock your neighbor, say neighbor, whatever you say. You got power to brag it up. Y'all ain't talking to your neighbors and neighbor. Whatever you say, you got power to bag it up. Go ahead and testify or shake your neighbor. Do something. Tell them, neighbor, you are an overcomer. You are victorious. You are a more than a conqueror. Come on, say, neighbor, you can do all things through Christ. Tell them, I'm so sure 
that you were going to make it. I'm so sure you were blessed and highly favored. I'm so sure that wealth and riches dwell in your house. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, everything that you need is inside of you. Waiting on you to breathe inside of it. Stop your neighbor one more time and then I'm done for real. And say, neighbor, let the power of God that's inside of you start working for you. You have been listening to Bishop Sid D. Johnson of Impact Christian Church of Austin. We pray you were blessed by this message and look forward to seeing you this Sunday at 11 a.m. or this Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. We are located at 1409 River Birch Way, Pflugerville, Texas, 78660. For more information about our ministry, you can contact us at 512-937-2432 or email us at impactccaustin at gmail.com. Come and rethink what is possible with us at Impact Christian Church. God bless.